This is the poly grinding system, a PKM 800. What this system does is it's designed for rotational molding. It um, takes material that has PP, PE, PVC, and a variety of other materials. The main reason for this machine is to get the powder down to a flowable uh, powder, normally around uh, 500 microns. It's designed for a variety of other industries. You can also use this in extruding processes uh, as well as rotational molding. This design behind me is strictly for just the rotational molding industry. The heart of the of the machine is the pulverizer, which is manufactured in Germany. Uh, the 800 system means 800 millimeters. That is the diameter of the grinding disc. There's two uh, disc or segmented areas where the material flows into a 20,000 gap. From there, it, it's ground and air swept up to a classifying system, a screening system. We have uh, 500 micron screens in there. The good product goes into a uh, collecting area, a super sack, a Gaylord box, or a, any kind of uh, bag or box that you can collect the material in. The overs, the oversized material, actually comes back into the mill, gets reintroduced to the grinding element until it achieves that 35 mesh or 500 microns. This is uh, done with air, uh, where, we, where the material is pulled up, goes through a cyclone, through a rotary lock to a screening system and then back into the mill. Basically the mill is set up very simple. As I open up the door, you have grinding elements. On these elements you can see they're not a radial design, they're actually a special serration that gives you a scissor cut. We are not shearing, so what happens is you get better particle distribution. Fixed on the door, on the rotor, and on, the, and on the rotor, rotates. Basically, it works fixed, rotor rotates, powder flows through between, comes up through the tube work, up to Cyclone, to the rotary lock, to the Gray Western, overs come back in. This 800 system is actually has 200 horsepower for the United States. I believe that's 175 kW motor on it. 20 horsepower blower, which gives you a CFM uh, that allows the material to stay cool within the grinding chamber, so you do not melt the material. It's only in the grinding elements for a fraction of a second. At the end of the process, after being pulverized, you have a nice flowable uh, 500 micron powder as an example here. And this is the material that actually exits the screening unit at 500 microns. And then from here, it's transferred to the roto molding machines to make products like uh, kayaks, big um, containers, uh, a variety of different industries uh, and within the rotational molding spectrum.